thank you for this wall that we all get to sign. See? Thank you. We love you, Grandpa. Oh, thank you so much, Grandpa Thompson, for this wonderful stand, because I love to sit here and just watch Oscar. Thank you for all that you do. Hey, Grandpa. Thanks for building the cafe, because it's awesome, and I love to hang out here. Yay. Oh, look. Who could this be? It's Zach in a dorm room. Oh, hi, man. I was just admiring this room here. I mean, look at all these beautiful windows, and the paint job in here is amazing. I mean, who's responsible for this? I don't know. Who could it be? Could it be Grandpa Dave? Oh, my. I think you're right. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. You're the best. Hey, Grandpa Dave. Um, I don't even know where to begin with thanking you, but... Uh, you've been an indirect influence in my life and my walk with God for over 10 years now as I've been under the teaching of your son, Terry, and everybody that he's brought into the leadership there um, and just how much they were there for me when I couldn't, um, couldn't trust my, even people in my own home for my spiritual guidance. Um, Terry was there and so, so were the people that he brought into leadership. And, uh, you know, also just thank you for allowing me to come alongside with helping with some of the construction and um, for raising Chip, too, so that he could help me realize the love that I have for the LDS people and the ministry here. And I think that I'm right along the lines with him is I want to thank you for raising your kids, um, for letting God raise your kids, because without your kids, I probably wouldn't be the Christian that I am today. Also, I think that I want to thank you personally for helping raise me. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys have been a part of raising me in my life. And, um, and I think that living here, you kind of take the people that have been a part of your life so hugely, like, um, for granted. And I want to thank you now for all the things that you've been a part of in my life and for um, your your spiritual guidance even in my life and whether you know it or not you've been one of my giants in my life and I want to thank you so much um, for being just a part of my life and I said life like six times because you are a part of my life and I love you Grandpa Dave. Just one more thing um, I do want to thank you too for um, I don't know if you even remember it but the first time that I was here in Utah you drove me to Ephraim and you are very open with sharing with me and and that's how I think um, it's been with you, and I've enjoyed seeing your interaction with Carol and how you love her and treat her, and um, it's an encouragement to me that there's, there's still hope in this world. Thanks, Dave. Love you. Hey, Grandpa Dave. Thank you for my awesome kitchen. It looks awesome. This is the nicest kitchen I've ever had, and it's wonderful. Thank you so much for blessing me with this awesome kitchen. Hey, Grandpa Thompson. Thank you so much for my apartment. When I was growing up, I had to share a bedroom with five kids and a bed with always at least one kid. So this is my bed, and this is my room, and that's amazing. And also, this is my kitchen. And that means that I can cook for me, and I can cook for everyone, and this little thing right here, this is my favorite part of the kitchen, and I think it's brilliant. And kudos to you for thinking of a built-in cutting board. It was brilliant. And thank you for my living room, where we can have facials and watch movies and hang out. And for my bathroom, where it's so ginormous, I don't even know what to do with myself. So, thank you so much for my awesome apartment. I love you very much, and we, we all do. Hi, Grandpa. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for our wonderful apartment, this room that you built in a week. Was, it's just amazing. It was my first room and I loved it. And then thank you so much for our wonderful living room. It's so cozy and comfy and I just love being in here. And our dining area and our entire apartment is just amazing because of you. Thank you.